sometimes Hello there everyone, it's B and I'm seeing this for the last time in 2016 I'm at that age now where I start realizing that the older I get the faster the time flies I remember filming my last yearly favorites as if it was yesterday in the same room But here we are again with this video of me showing my favorite things and literally my dog is like attacking me right now Also I completely forgot to dress the elephant in the room. Yes, I have pink hair I dyed it and it's courtesy of the salon kitchen hair lab and my friend Diana Payton here in Riga So if you want to get something similar done then call her up. She's awesome I am totally vibing Gavril Levine's girlfriend right now, but I dig this so let's just get into the video now for face The foundation I chose is the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation I've never found anything that feels so light but has such amazing coverage of just everything and Leaves my skin feeling very moisturized and nice and I have it in the color 3 fair and actually this is currently too dark for me I just mix it with a different foundation and Still use it all the time for eyes I've realized that there has been one palette that I've been using for virtually the entire year and I still have so much product left in it Although the text itself has rubbed off and this is the it cosmetics naturally pretty palette and it looks like this it has tons of like nude and warm colors and I have been loving to rock my pinks and beiges and reds especially reds this has amazing pigmentation and it's not really that expensive so I really recommend it a lip product was next to impossible to choose because I'm like a connoisseur of lipsticks I change them every single day always wear different color one that's been a go-to that I can just pop on every single day and it always looks good with any outfit is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the color London because it's very neutral it has a yellowy undertone and doesn't start crumbling off like all sorts of liquid lipsticks do I still love those but this is just much less effort to keep it staying flawless because you just reapply it whenever you need to and you don't have to worry about like your lips drying out or crumbling or anything for cheek products is the Mary Luminizer I've hit pan on this I've been wearing it for quite a long time and this is the most gorgeous warm tone gold highlighter that just complements any skin tone and I think it's really beautiful. Next up is skincare product, woot woot. And ever since I started using the really new products when I was in Australia, as Steph said, already said this sentence like a million times, I actually contacted them and was like, hey guys, I really love your stuff. They didn't ask me to put this in a video or anything, but I genuinely do choose these as my favorite skincare products this year. And this is this whole line. And there's a moisturizer, a face gel that helps with breakouts and acne, and a foaming face wash. And they have been keeping my skin clear even though my diet hasn't been the best and I think that says a lot. For nail polish I picked the one that I'm wearing right now and it is Madame Glam's color red black and I actually did a video for them like way in the beginning of 2016. That's exactly what it is. It's a dark wine nail color. It's really glossy, really beautiful, dries quickly, all of that and I don't know it's nothing too special but I like it. For hair product I haven't actually shown this in a favorites video before but I bought it when I was in New Zealand and this is the De Lorenzo Nova Fusion Color Care Shampoo in the color Rosewood and this is what initially got me into starting to want to get my hair pink and now I finally took that leap yesterday and went to the hair salon and this shampoo is like those purple shampoos that tint your hair a colder kind of blonde color this one tints it pink and it, I can show you a lot of pictures of where I have my hair washed with the shampoo instead of a yellow undertone it just gives it a pink undertone and if you wash with it say like multiple times in a row then it really turns your hair pink if it's naturally lighter blonde um, and then just washes out after a while leaving your hair like a nice cold shade because this was the first time I've ever like experimented with my hair color in my life for body product or perfume Finally, I can say this Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. I have been Wanting this perfume for around the last four years I'd say every time I am in an airport duty free or in a drugstore I will run to the Tom Ford stand drench myself on this perfume and just feel like the happiest human being but I never got around to actually buying it because it's really expensive and then I found this under my Christmas tree and I couldn't be happier it's the best gift ever it's unisex it smells like sexy man and the beach and salt water and just like Mmm, Italy. It smells like Italy. For fashion, three things that dominated my wardrobe this entire year. The first one is this trusty Adidas track jacket. I think I got this like in February and I've honestly been wearing it so much it's not even okay. And we'll continue wearing it because it's 
fashionable, it looks good on everything, and it always feels really good for me to go back to my Slavic three-striped roots. <laughs> Second thing, fishnet tights, fishnet socks, anything fishnet. You might see that it's a trend going around right now. They're a bit difficult to style sometimes, but I have found a way to do it without looking like a common hooker, which is a great achievement in my opinion. Small fishnet black tights, big fishnet black tights, um, fishnet socks that I have in red and black. And you can put them under jeans, wear with skirts, with oversized hoodies, literally anything, and they make you look super duper grunge. And I hate that word. And then this fairly new purchase, which is a lacquered skirt from Urban Outfitters by the brand Cooperative. I love this, it looks great, it makes my body shape nicer and I think it's still definitely available in Urban Outfitters. For accessories I chose a bunch of chokers that I actually made myself. If you guys would want a video of how I made them then write it down below in the comments because I would love to do one and they're basically these like chain chokers with Swarovski crystals on them. I have this gold one with a heart. Um, I have this one with like a moon and stars, a black ribbon with a purple crystal heart. I've made a bunch of these and they always look so good on with everything. I feel like they look like a bit more glam twist on the conventional choker. Lastly, for a pair of shoes, I wanted to choose something that you guys could still get in store if you wanted to. These ones are super duper in style right now and these are from Zara and they're these fall leather pointed toe kind of bow flats and I can't even tell you how much I love these. First of all, the painted toe has come back. Shoes like these, especially flats, tend to be harder to find in stores because it's still a fairly new thing and a fairly new trend. So I really recommend catching these while you can because they're gonna be all the rage in 2017 and I've already been wearing them and loving them. Although yes, they do make your feet look a little bit like skis, just a little bit, but also really glamorous skis. For random favorites, favorite TV show and movie. Um, I think my favorite film I've watched in this entire year has been Racing Extinction. It's made in color collaboration with Tesla and with Elon Musk and it's an incredible documentary about animal extinction and species extinction all over the world through um, illegal fishing and animal agriculture and production. It's an incredibly close topic to my heart and very interesting but as a filmmaker I also really appreciate the incredible production quality of that film. Really recommend watching it if you still haven't seen it. It's beautiful. For TV shows I have two. The first one is White Collar. I think it's like my March favorites video where I talked about that but honestly that made me weep. I think it's one of the best like conventional TV shows that I've ever watched. I like it more than Suits, more than a lot of those. Second one that a lot of people have been talking about recently and I've also caught on is Black Mirror. Really love it, really original, beautiful production and just a very interesting theme about future and technology and how it can impact people's lives. So I really recommend you watching that as well. I'd say my favorite book this year was probably Confessions of an Economic Hitman. I don't have a physical copy of it, but it's an incredible book about the way that the US hooks weaker countries onto itself, basically makes them her puppets through loans and through the use of these economic hitmen who arrange all sorts of infrastructure agreements and building projects and all of these like mega projects Projects that they create in different countries to do with oil and mining and things like that. It was very eye-opening for me to read and just showed a lot of insight into US politics. So if you're interested in that, then definitely pick up the book. It's great. Also, this is a resolution for 2017 to read more books because this year I've been reading so many academic articles to do with university that I actually haven't had time to just pick up like a normal book and read it. Favorite beverage? Oh my god, that is a very hard question. Would I be, be if I wouldn't say soy cappuccino? You let me finish my video and then I'm gonna go and play with you, okay? Okay, thank you. <sighs> so you would think that your girl would have amazing taste in music and the songs that would define her 2016 would be, you know, like somewhat cool songs. No, actually this year because I have had just so much fun with my friends and have been doing so many different things. My year is kind of defined by more popular and like trash music that I have the most memories to, especially a lot of Russian songs. A lot of Russian songs. A lot of it is the European Youth Parliament, a lot of it is Croatia, my travels. Just fun songs that we listen to with my Latvians in uni. It's just a lot of sentimental memories that I am gonna put into this video, not for you guys, but for me to always look back at this and remember what we listened to in 2016. So here are some of my this year's tunes.
filming this video for an absolute eternity but honestly I've just been having so much fun jamming out all of these songs that it's taking me ages now. I have shivers all over my body now and it's not even about a new year starting because to me that doesn't really matter. I don't see milestones like a new year or it's like new year new me like no just be a new you every single day. It's more of just like now even like listening to this music I reminisce so much of what I have done this year and that is absolutely insane so yeah, I'm in a weird emotional state right now, but I really hope you guys have an incredible New Year's celebration. Live your life, dare to do things that you were too afraid to do in 2016, in 2017. Honestly, just be as productive as you can and work towards your goals and you're gonna achieve everything. I really wanna thank you guys for sticking with me for such a long time that I've been doing YouTube and I love all of you and there's gonna be amazing things coming in the next year. I definitely believe that, fingers crossed. And yes, I love all of you. Thank you so much and goodbye.